welcome to today's short strategy video. My name is Rihanna Redman. I'm an infant and early childhood mental health consultant at Children's Resource Center in Bowling Green. Today's strategy is handling strong emotions. Handling strong emotions is an evidence-based strategy from the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children. And it's really about building a secure attachment. So a secure attachment is formed when an adult or a caregiver responds appropriately to a child in distress or upset. So the DNA process stands for describe, name, and acknowledge. So to do this, you want to describe the actions. So just describe what you're seeing. So what is going on with your baby's body language or um, what they might be doing or um, saying to you with their cries and then name the feeling for them. So you're just saying to them, wow, it seems like you're really sad or you're really frustrated and then acknowledge what they want. So um, really you can acknowledge whatever it is that you think that they are wanting from that situation. So maybe for an example, you can say your face is like this, you know, you, you have a frown. Um, and then just demonstrate, so you're showing them that you are seeing what their face is doing and you're kind of mirroring that for them. So your face went like this and show them that frown, breathe with me. So you can, you can take those deep breaths. And when you do that with your baby or your infant, um, you actually are transferring your calm to them. So you can take those deep breaths, say, breathe with me, and then you can label the feeling with whatever your best guess is. So, you know, you might be feeling sad and then, you know, you, you seem sad or you, you wanted to play for longer, whatever, whatever you might think that it is that they wanted, you know, you, you wanted to play with the ball for longer. And really, it's just about describing, you know, what it is that you're seeing, naming that feeling for them, and then acknowledging whatever it is that they wanted. And in doing so, it's able, you're able to help your child to calm down, you're helping them recognize and understand their emotions, and you're, you're giving them the, you know, positive intent. So whatever it is that you thought that they wanted before they started, you know, crying or, um, whatever behavior that they might use um, because they couldn't get what they wanted. So for example, um, maybe you are changing your infant's diaper and they are startled by a loud noise. So maybe something fell off of the diaper changing table and it, it made a loud noise and, and maybe that kind of startled baby. So what you can do is, you know, pick up the baby and put them, put them against your chest and take deep breaths. So just take a big deep belly breath. You seem scared. Did that noise scare you? That was a loud noise. Um, I'll keep you safe. So what you're doing is you're just talking to your baby and, and letting them know that, you know, I saw your body jump when you heard that noise. It was a loud noise. So you're kind of describing what you saw or what you heard naming that feeling, you know, you seem scared. Maybe that frightened you. So you're naming that emotion for them. And then you're just acknowledging them. You know, it's okay. I will keep you safe. That, that was kind of scary. That was a loud noise, but I'm right here. I will help you. We can calm down together. And then you can take those deep breaths. And again, when you have your baby up close to your chest, they can hear your heartbeat. You can take those deep breaths with them. Um, and you're transferring your calm to them. So then once your baby is calm, you can lay them back down and you can finish changing their diaper. Um, and then afterwards, you know, you can say, um, you know, I'm going to keep you safe. So I'm going to, I'm going to set you down and then we're going to finish putting your diaper on or finish putting your clothes on. So that way you're just telling them what's going to happen next, giving them a little bit of um, what, what's going to, what's going to happen now that after they were scared, you know, they, they want to know that they're still going to be safe. Another example would be an infant cries and arches their back, um, maybe when you're trying to dress them. So we can pick them up, again, place them up against our chest, let them hear our heartbeat or feel our heartbeat and, and take those deep breaths. You seem frustrated. You know, you, you were wanting me to know that getting dressed is hard for you. It is hard when we have to get dressed and maybe, maybe it's cold when we take off, you know, our shirt and put on a different shirt and it gets kind of cold. 
um, you know, you're safe. It's okay. Breathe with me. And then you can, you can handle this. So again, take those deep belly breaths with them when you're holding them. And that's kind of going to download your calm to them or it transfers that calm to them. Um, you can say, I'm going to lay you down now. There you are. And then, you, you know, you can say, I see you. You're okay. You're safe. And, you know, just letting them know that, that you are there for them and, and that you're going to help them through those big, big feelings or handle those strong emotions. And this might be something that, you know, if they're not ready and they're still crying and they're still upset, you might have to repeat the process. So picking them up, holding them, um, helping them to soothe or calm down, and then letting them know what is going to come next so that they do feel safe. If you are looking for some more resources, you can check out our YouTube channel at Children's Resource Center or find us on Facebook at CRC Infant and Early Childhood Connection. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at rihanna r at crcwoodcounty.org. Thank you.